What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at three cell packs from the 2021-2022 NBA hoop set from Panini. Uh, got these for 13 bucks a piece from a local hobby shop. I think they're going to be coming out at Walmart soon. Uh, the blasters you can find on Walmart website for like 28 bucks each and I think these are probably going to be 10 bucks so obviously a little bit expensive uh, from hobby shops but what can you do at this point? I just saw these and I was like oh new product so <laughs> let me try it out and Give it a quick review. Here's actually what you guys can expect. Uh, you're mainly going to be looking for those uh, anniversary editions, uh, teal explosions. They have the orange explosions out of 25. Uh, both vets and rookies, same thing. And then also got green signatures and a bunch of different inserts, including a slam that a lot of people like. Got sky view, uh, significance, and frequent flyers. So. Let's get right into it, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. It really helps us grow and put more content out there like this for you guys. So just a heads up, um, that explosion insert is basically like a kaboom from what I've seen. It has the kaboom pattern. It's not a kaboom, obviously. So it's, it's like a picture of the player. Um, just a regular photograph. It looks like we have something in this pack. I'm already excited about it. I'm hoping it's a rookie. But uh, yeah, this is the first time that I've personally seen, or will see, because we haven't seen them yet, uh, the rookies from the 2021-2022 draft class in their actual NBA uniforms. Man, this this shine right here is getting me excited right now. But um, yeah, so it's it's kind of cool. Like uh, Hoops is typically the first product that you'll see those... Um, the new rookies like every year in their uh, uniform rather than their uh, college uniforms so definitely more appealing to a lot of people but yeah hoping uh hoping we get some cades some uh, evan mobley's uh, jalen green and i think this is a, our first insert lights camera action so this is what you can expect if you get one of these and our second insert actually i'm going to put those in a separate pile it's going to be a lot of cards it's 30 cards uh, per cello. So James Harden, Skyview right here. And we have our first purple for the Hawks. That one's going to be Kevin Herter. These are not numbered. I want to say that one, the teal is next. So let me actually just cover it real quick. All right. And then let's put that one over here. Let's set this one over the inserts. So starting off with Shengun, I was just about to say, I, some previous like draft sets didn't include him. I think it's because he's from Turkey. It's kind of harder to include uh, international uh, rookies, but I don't know. Sometimes they do. So I don't, I don't exactly know why they don't include the, like he was like a top 10 or top 20 too. So sometimes they don't include all the rookies. So if anyone knows what the reason behind that is that would be pretty cool to know let us know in the comments down below and Jalen Green right here on fire for the Rockets just the base so hoping to get maybe that one's going to be a uh, numbered rookie but let me show you guys this purple it's not numbered so the number one is going to be orange from the cellos and let's see moment of truth guys almost brought it up without team is that going to be 76ers okay <laughs> Jaden Springer this is going to be yeah see so exactly like a kaboom pattern really really cool this is a teal and they're not numbered if this was an orange I believe it would be numbered let me just bring one of the packs look at the back real quick one more time Orange is probably the only one that's going to be numbered. Yep. So the anniversary is exactly like that, except it's not teal. It's just white. So awesome start. We got 60 more cards to go, so I'm going to try to go through these a little bit quicker with the occasional card flub. Man, it's so weird seeing last year's uh, rookies not as rookies in this set. Just not used to it. Oh, uh, we have something else. Is this going to be common? I don't know. The explosions. I do want to say are fairly rare. P. 
pure Luka Doncic. It's our insert, second lights, camera action, Kawhi Leonard. And our third insert is gonna be Scotty Barnes for the Raptors, class of 2021. So this is the rookie specific insert. And okay, <laughs> Marjanovic. Uh, I'm deciding where to put this since it's a rookie answer. Let's just put them over there. All right, man. If that was a rookie, that would have been pretty crazy. Two rookie teals. I'm just going to put this guy over there with the parallels. We'll do a recap at the end, as always. But Corey Kispert, rookie for the Wizards here. Miles McBride. Got Santi Aldama. And Scotty Barnes once again. Two of the same rookie in one pack. Josh Giddy as well. And Aaron Wiggins. Let's put those guys over there. And last pack. Pace is going pretty well. Actually better than I expected. So from what we've seen so far, the teal explosion is fairly common. This could be just um, a fluke or we could just be pretty lucky. But your rookies are going to be all at the end. This one looks like a copy of the first cello we opened. And I think we might have a hollow in this pack. That's what it seems like. Kyle Anderson. All right, there's like way more cards than I expected in this one. The tomb. Bryant and Paul George. Yeah, so this pack is like a copy of the other one. Let's see. Yeah, yep. All the same inserts, all the same cards. I mean, I wasn't focusing on all the bases we got, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be uh, pretty similar. Patrick Beverly is going to be our purple and our hollow. It's going to be a vet. Steph Curry. That's what I like to see. Unfortunately, with cellos, this can happen to cards. I don't know if you guys can see that dent. Yeah, that's pretty pretty big really really nice card just unfortunate that it was in a cello but this is your lights camera action hollow so if we put the regular one right next to it you guys see the difference it's not too hard to see so let's got another shangun let's see if we get exactly the same rookies as we did earlier i have a feeling we are actually let me bring them so we can make a comparison. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think is going to be after that? These three guys, and I think that was, yeah, those are the last few cards. All right, so Shangun, Cooper. Yep, copy paste. And ending with Jalen Green. All right. So we got exactly, I want to say the same bases, same inserts. It's just the, the parallel and the um i guess like hollow or, or explosion whatever you want to call it that was the only difference it's pretty strange i think that happens to me from time to time but it's never like almost all the cards are exactly the same like this was almost like 90 percent of the cards so here are all the inserts so only one pack was unique we started off with a rookie teal explosion explosion kaboom i mean they just renamed uh the same word basically Got a synonym there. And here are the parallels. Didn't get a numbered card, didn't get an auto, but still got two uh, teal explosions. I really wanna see um, how many explosions people can, can pull. If it's fairly common, then obviously the value of these are gonna go down. But anyway, uh, fun rip. NBA hoops is always like a lot of cards. It's regular card stock. So if you wanna try out uh, cards for the new draft class and the uniforms, highly recommend it. So yeah, fun rip and hope you guys enjoyed as well. So uh, stick around for giveaways and more content. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.